Here he is, the host of Jeopardy, Alex Prevert. Take me home, please, Mr. Ludden. If you hear the hooping and hollering, it's just echoing the excitement that is in this sound stage today as we have two of the premier shows in television representing soap operas against game shows in a feud to the death. Who will be called the champion here today? Will it be? Well, Jeannie says her team, who we're going to introduce in a moment. Or will it be one of the greatest shows of all television history? The Price is Right. It is by Bob Barker. Welcome to the show. It is a pleasure for all of us to be here. More so to have you. You know, it, it must be strange to turn on the set and see a fine figure and his lovely beauties on the stage right. uh, playing as a contestant, but they're playing for a great charity that could be worth $10,000. We'll find out in a moment. Mr. Barker, if I may call you Bob. Please do, please do. Bob, tell everybody who tuned in who you brought. I, as you said, I have Barker's beauties with me. I never leave home without them. I have the lovely Diane, the lovely Janice, the lovely Holly, and the lovely Kathleen. Well, welcome to the show. It's a lot of beauties. We miss Rod Roddy, but he'll be here on another show. They give me a bad time about always saying they're the lovely this, the lovely that, the lovely the other one. But it makes it easy for me. I don't have to think up all these other adjectives, you see. I just say the lovely and we go on. Well, your lovelies may help you play for this great charity today. It is? Nancy Burnett's organization, United Activists for Animal Rights. Yeah. That is a great charity. Great charity. Not only does your team have to play well, it would help if these people don't play that well. They are the young and the restless, by, headed by Doug Davidson. All right, I'm I didn't. I'm fine. How are you? I'm very fine. Baby. I didn't mean that as an indictment on your team, because you do play well. Oh, yes. You're going to play lose for a great a lot, charity. We're going to find out in a moment. That's What's right. that, Jeannie? Just lose a lot. That's no, all. you're going to win today. That's, that's the attitude. Oh, Who'd you bring, Doug? I brought the lovely Jeannie. Yes. <laughs> the lovely Peter. Yes. <laughs> the lovely Melody. Yes. And the lovely Trisha. Well, we welcome the cast members of The Young 
and the restless and a great charity which belongs i do believe to trisha yes what charity is that trisha options house in los angeles that takes in and counsels displaced teenagers an excellent charity two charities one ten thousand dollars who's it gonna be let's play the music Yeah, it's all right. Would you mind if she slapped? I'd much rather slap with her. I really would. The first? This is the case. The young and the restless and the old and the lethargic. Right here. Thank you, Bob. Nice to meet you. Bob, don't fall into that cunning trick. Oh, this is, there's more tension than you see here. The first team to 300 will play for the 10,000. She thinks he put itching powder on her hand. Top six answers are up there. We ask 100 people this question. Name a first that every woman remembers. Bob. Her first kiss. Would it be, on our survey, her first kiss? Number one. You get no chance. You did it. Look at that. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, you are. Bob, if you think you beat her, you think Doug would have knew a girl's first? Be a gunfighter. He has the fastest draw in the West. Well, fortunately, his answers misfire sometimes, so <laughs> it gives a little hope for the beat. This is right. The, a first that every woman remembers. The first time she makes love. Yes, 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 yes. We'll see them made our survey the first time that they make love. Yes. Number four on the survey. Think of a steal over there. Hi, Janice. Hi, Welcome how are to you? The I'm Thank fine. You. It's nice to have you here. Thank now, you. We ask 100 people. I should make that clear. It's 100 people. A first that every woman remembers. The first time that she falls in love. Oh, yeah. the, yeah. the first time they love. fall in love. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, great. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Excellent. Holly, welcome. Hi. This is kind of not fair. Four women get a shot at this. Yes. A first that every woman remembers. Her first date. Is it her wow. first date? Yeah. One, two, three, four. I see a sweet coming, Kathleen. Hi, hi. What do you say? This is a joke, by the way. Her first husband. Yes! Yeah. Okay. Uh, um. You know, jokes have cost games here. I said it first. Her first baby. Her first baby. Okay. Which could be her first husband. First child. First child. Okay, let me see her first child. Yes! Woo. Nice, nice. All right, now, Bob, it's up to you. If you give me a number, you got no strikes, so it's a pretty good position. Think of a steal. A first every woman remembers. Her first husband. <laughs> Would it be for that bank her first husband? A lot of first husbands are a joke. <laughs> Did it make it? First husband. <laughs> Chill out, crowd. Chill out. Oh, shit. Think about this. A first that every woman remembers. Oh. You're going to get a chance. Three seconds. First love, first date. I don't. I can't. That's two. Now, you're going to get a chance to steal 92 bucks, but Janice, you know this. A first every woman remembers. Her, the, um, the very first dance or prom. There you go. Makes sense. It makes a lot of sense. But get ready, Young and the Restless, if we don't see first prom. Steal your bank unless you know one answer. A first every woman remembers, Trish. Uh, first pair of high heels. First, pair. first bra. First bra. <laughs> Peter? Uh, anniversary. Jean's got anniversary. Anniversary. Anniversary bra. All right. Shout at me. High heels. Shout at me. High heels, bra, and high anniversary. Heels and bra are what? Doug with them or on your own. Huh? If it's not there. We're going with bra. We're going with bra. We're going with bra. Well, it's your charity. Jeannie, he went with bra. Will the bank come to the young and the restless with first bra? <laughs> Say, First, we'll see what would have gotten you the bank. Number five. First boyfriend. The feud has begun. Who's going to get the 300 first find out? Centers everywhere. We're back. The price is right. $92. The young arrest is zero. Here we go. It's another face off. Right now, Diane. Doug Davidson has approached the podium for his team. Taking his rightful place. The top six answers are on the board. Doug, don't look at her. You won't be able to hit the podium. Well, I'm so distracted. All right. The top six answers are on the board. Wait, repeat the question. Where'd you get that jacket? All right. Here's the... I know. Here's the I real question. 
Doug, settle down. It was a joke, which will probably be edited. Here we go. Name something. <laughs> Here's the question. We ask 100 people. Let me get a place for a clean edit. Here we go. 100 people surveyed. Name something that parents put children in. Doug? A stroller. How about a stroller? Stroller, it's at the bottom. Five answers give you control, Diane. Something that parents put children in. Get over here, Doug, and take your medicine. Car seat. Car seat. Number one. Not only did Barker's beauty have it, she looked him right in the face. Well, that was very spiteful. Very, very good. Good and spiteful. <laughs> Janice, <laughs> parents put children in? They put them in school. School. Let me see it. Number four. Come on, Holly. They put them in bed. Put children in bed. 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 Think of it over there. Come on, Kathleen. Okay. For a mom, you can do it. Parents put children in? Uh, crib. Oh, that no, was already, I'm sorry. Oh, that, oh, is that the same? Okay, no, yeah. No, I'm sorry. It's all uh, right. In college. Parents yeah. do put the children yeah. in? Yeah. Is that the same as school? Same? Oh, same but I need school? an answer real quickly. Okay, they put them in uh, acting class. Okay. <laughs> can we just give her the strike and I keep going? She I said know. they put them in an acting class. Uh, all right, now, Bob, it's okay. one strike. She said acting class. You don't want to say that. I want to say, put, uh, parents put their babies in a, in a playpen. That's different. That's different. And there's a difference. That's like a prison for children, because I have six. Uh, playpen. Yes. Excellent. The difference in the state pin and the playpen is the first word. There's no difference. <laughs> Diane, you're going to have that bank and a big, big lead. Something that parents put okay. children in. Well, for littler, 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 littler kids, like a, a daycare? Yes, daycare. yeah. You got the bag and we see daycare. When we come back, the young director's going to try to get in this game for $10,000. See you in a moment. GSA. We're back. The price is right. One seventy-five. The young director's. The dollar value, you better shake hands because they can win on this question. You don't want to get them mad. Okay, Janice, no, no. put your hand on, on the podium. I love uh, you. But this you, one, you this yes. can be the, okay. That's fine. Top six answers are on the board. I'm going to do it when it comes time. We ask 100 people, name something used to clean the house. Jeannie? Dust rag. Let me see dust rag. Dust rag is there, but three answers are more popular. Something used to clean the house. Janice? Cleanser, Ajax. How about a, a cleaning cleanser. cleanser? Six people. Then you got control. Think of a steal. Very nice because the top two answers are still there. Holly, something used to clean the house. Mop. Let me see. If it's up there, could it be one or two? Yes. yes a one. mop. Yes. Yes. Now. To the price is right, if you take this question all the way out, you're going to win the game. You can win. We're going, we're going winning to. the game. We're going for it. Start yes. sending the bad vibes. Kathleen, yes. used to clean the house. Number one answer, vacuum yes. cleaner. Yes. Yeah. Vacuum. Mm. Is number one the vacuum cleaner? Yeah. 73. <laughs> White. Life. Just skip Bob and go right to Diane. <laughs> See, it's time like this, I realize why I work alone. Bob, she said that you never cleaned the house in your life. That, when a man has four beauties, he doesn't have to do those things, you know? Spoken like a man, Bob. These girls, these girls, these girls lend personality to refrigerators and they do windows as well. <laughs> Maybe I better go there and stand with this other team now. <laughs> no, they're doing, they're helping you from over there, Bob. We're looking for something used to clean the house. Now, you're on your way to winning this game. A broom. Yes, yes, yes. They said he couldn't do it. He goes on his own and says, a broom. Yeah. The face of Peter Barton says it all. Diane, you've played very, very well. How appropriate <laughs> that if you give me 
Number six, you're going to play for $10,000. Something used to clean the house. Okay, if there's cleanser, then there's uh, furniture, polish, yes. polish yeah. furniture. It's a fine answer, but will it when you have no stripes for the game? Is it furniture polish? with the Price is Right for the United Activists for Animal Rights. Now, if you tuned in before we went away, now, Diane got chicken and felt she wasn't well, good under pressure. And she's, well, not chicken, she got a little unsteady. And she sent you up, Kathleen. She felt you were a great opener. You know how it works. You have 15 seconds to give me the most popular answers that you can think of. When you and your partner pile up 200 or more points, you get $10,000. And we'll take applause on that. Are you ready? Yes. Kathleen is ready, so we put... You know what? Thank you, Judge. That's why you're getting paid. Every once in a while we do this. Who is second? Holly. Holly's in the booth. Just for a second. Rod. Holly. Rod's just here giving moral support to the team, Judge. Rod is just here rooting for the team. You see, folks, the judge has made a mistake. All right, there you go. Rod's really not in the game. Just like a lot of people are in the audience, they're not playing, Judge. Okay. Here we go. Now, if you're ready, I understand that. We put 15 seconds on the clock. In fairness to the judge, Chrissy was the one that spotted it. Okay. <laughs> Good luck to you, Kathleen. You clear your mind. We ask 100 people these questions. Name something you just know is going to break the minute the warranty runs out. Glass. Something driveways are made of. Pavement. Something a dog does to tell you how he feels. Barks. Where would most women want to subtract an inch? Waste. What is the most popular food in the country? Pizza. Turn around here. There's the old pizza answer. Something you just know is going to break the minute the warranty runs out. You said the popular glass warranty. That's why I never get the glass warranty. What did the survey say? Zero. Okay. People don't, okay. Ray, we need a more specific answer to this next question. I'd like sound as good as the judge gets. Something driveways are made of. Cement. 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 What, what kind of cement? Is that good enough, judge? Cement. cement. Okay. She said driveways are made of cement. The survey said, 19, a dog tells you how they feel by doing this, barking. What did our survey say? 25. Where would most women want to subtract an inch? Kathleen thought the survey said. The waste. Our survey said. Yeah. Oh, 49. Yeah. Take an inch off of that. The most popular food in the country she liked. Pizza, the survey said. Bam! Very fine, Kathleen. Nice move, Diane. Here it comes. Another lovely Holly. Holly. Holly, you are 62 points away from $10,000. You look good. She did very well. You look straight ahead. 20 seconds on the clock, revealing the answers given by Kathleen. We ask 100 people these five questions. Name something you just know is going to break the minute the warranty runs out. Um, your hair dryer. Something driveways are made of. Um, concrete. Cement. Try again. Um, asphalt. Okay, all right. Something a dog does to tell you how he feels. Um, he wags his tail. Where would most women want to subtract an inch? Uh, from their, um, waist. What's, try again. Um, from their thighs. What's the most popular food in the country? She got, what do you say? Most popular food in the country. Um, mm. Um, hamburgers. Whew, she, all right, there you go. Turn around. Did you get 62? Something you just know is going to break. The minute the warranty runs out, you say. Hair dryer. These are women that are just inept with, with, with warranties. The survey said zero. Not there. Car. Car, the number Car. one answer. You drive 12,001 miles, everything goes wrong. Something driveways are made of. You said. Concrete. 
That was your first, but did you not say concrete cement? Yeah. Okay, but concrete was your concrete. first answer. S survey said 35. I only heard your second answer. Your first answer was the most popular, concrete. You are now 27 points away. Something a dog does to tell you how he feels, you said. He wags his tail. The 27 people say it for $10,000. What did the survey say? Judge. It. Right. Score. A point. Light. The. Light. Spell. Which. Speed. Beat. The clock. If you. Think. Quick. The. Hole. House. Rocks. It. Beats. Opera. It. Beats. Bingo. Every night. The game. It's Flingo. It's Word Game Heaven tonight at 7, only on GSN. GSN. See you tomorrow. We love you. We'll see you here on The Family Field. Show until next time. This is Peter Tomarkin on behalf of the Focati Rug saying thanks for pressing your luck. Bye-bye. So anyway, we have just 10 seconds to say goodbye. We'll see you uh, tomorrow. So long. Bye-bye. Yeah. We got we five seconds. Oh, no. We have three. Two, one. Bye. Bye.